Good morning, everybody. It's Mo. Welcome to another day of what I see on the YouTubes and what the heck is going on. And don't buy TV. You can always find it for free. So today we're talking about Tory Lanes, the guy who shot Megan the Stallion. He might get off. So um, before we get into it, I guess... Uh, I don't know. Come on. Subscribe. You're listening to this stuff. You're like, what's the crazy white girl doing this stuff? I, good question. We'll get into that too. Maybe. Maybe not today. Maybe some other time. Personal stuff will come later. Right now, they're having a trial and things are going on. I did find a lawyer on the YouTubes. It's California criminal defense lawyer, Jamal Kersey, K-E-R-S-E-Y. He's a YouTube account guy, and he was very interesting to listen to. Um, staying away from Mr. Academic. But it turns out that um, he's just the mouthpiece for Mr. Lanes. Curious. Hi, Mr. Academics. You're a liar. Anyway, um, I can always spot lies. I can always spot lies. All right, I want to apologize. I did Google Kelsey Nicole specifically. She's not Kylie Jenner. And I am so sorry because she's a, a beautiful lady who is an Instagram influencer. She was Megan's BFF for Eva's. Um, then they got in a fight. She dropped a diss track against Megan. And hilariously, the diss track kind of sounded like Megan's music. So I'm thinking, come on girls. Get it together. I know they're young, but at the same time, you need your girlfriends. You need your girlfriends. Now, she was found with gunshot residue on her, so there's a possibility she will be called to the stand. Uh, yes, yeah, so I did listen to Mr. Lane's music. I'm like, he's a singer-songwriter. He is a singer-songwriter. To me, rap music is stuff that happened in the 80s and 90s where people were rapping. Uh, now it's like if it's a lyrical rhyming stuff, it's considered. Rap. I don't know. I did like his song "Thank You, Mama." I thought that was sweet. But first of all, two years gives plenty of time for the defense to build up a great defense, and he seems to have a really good defense team. It seems. I mean, maybe because it's criminal, that's why we're not getting any like specific information but they did fire that detective and the prosecutors don't want to call him because, you know, they don't want to get in any, some weirdness might have happened with this detective, but the defense wants to call him to the stand because they think he botched the investigation. So Mr. Lanes might get away with shooting his friend. Let me repeat that. He's gonna get away with shooting Megan. Now, see, that's the thing. That's when justice is delayed, justice is denied. She's got bullet fragments in her feet. She's gonna have to live with that. She's not yet 30, but soon she will be. And one day she's gonna be my age and she's gonna be like, ow, why does my feet hurt all the time? Because evidently, according to the you know research I did yesterday, he didn't shoot it just once. This new charge is negligent discharge of a firearm. It it, it really might be good for him, and um, but unfortunately, I just feel bad for Megan. The judge had to tell him to get off social media and stay away from Miss Megan. So anyone who's defending this guy, I don't trust the police either, but you should be able to trust judges. If you don't give the judge your trust, you're not going to get the result you want because they did botch the investigation. Uh, so the detectives who took Megan's statement, the prosecutors don't want him to, um, to testify because um, what that has to do with him taking, doing his work as a detective two years ago, but the defense wants to call him because they say he botched the investigation. Well, I think they're probably right. It turns out that the bullet fragments that they were, that were taken out of her feet are missing. <laughs> they're just, 
the LAPD just sort of, they did botch the investigation. Hmm, curious. Went to a party with a gun. He shot it. It got into somebody's foot. He's, or he's gonna go to jail, at least for carrying the gun. But um, is he gonna go to jail for purposely pointing the gun for saying to Megan, dance, dance? Possibly not, because they did botch the investigation. She's not a pathological liar, kids. She said the same thing over and over again. The, all the whole time. Now, people who are liars lie constantly about different things all the time. Everything's a lie. Everything's a lie. And it becomes kind of repetitive. Let's, let's pick uh, someone from society. Mrs. Clinton, they called her a pathological liar. Why? Because, you know, she lied about this. She lied about that. She lied about this. She lied about that. It's all different stuff. Now, Megan is only talk, talking about one trial and she hasn't changed her story, which shows me that she ain't lying. And she's upset that her friend, be careful who your friends are. She's upset that her friend hurt, hurt her and she should be. She's not getting protection. She's not getting any Me Too help except for that one silly letter. And also, she didn't want to get her friends, not her friends, in trouble. These people are not her friends. Were they having sex? They were quarantining or, you know, sheltering in place together. Well, maybe they were just good friends. It seems to me that Miss um, Megan is an independent type woman who does her own thing. And it seems to me that she's got kind of a masculine personality. I do. I have a lot of male friends. I don't see the problem with that. This is America. A lot of women have male friends. So she had a male friend and she's hanging around her house and a bikini top because it's Texas and it's hot. I don't know. It seems just weird to say, to look at that Instagram live and say, well, she's wearing a bikini top, so they must be having sex. And what difference does it make whether or not they were having sex? If they were having sex, that would mean, if they were having sex, perhaps it would give her an experience I, I just don't understand. Oh, 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 that's right. If they were having sex, maybe she and Kelsey, who cares if they were having sex? It doesn't really matter. If they were having sex, that does not excuse his behavior. And you know what? I honestly, I do believe it perhaps was an accident. He probably didn't want to hurt her. He shot the gun on the ground. But just because you're an idiot doesn't make you innocent. It was a semi-automatic weapon. So of course it's gonna backfire into her feet, you dumbo. This guy's not very bright. Um, yeah, Megan, nobody should be talking to Gail King or Oprah Winfrey or any of their, any of their colleagues. No good comes out of talking to those fools because Oprah, Gail King asked her very inappropriate questions. MJ for life. Let's just put it that way. She lied about Michael Jackson. Who else is she going to lie about? Right? Right. So don't talk to Oprah Winfrey unless you want to lie. So I love TMZ. So they, they had some woman gets on there. She says, Oh, that munchkin menace. Send him back to Canada. I thought that was really funny. I had to quote her. She's on TMZ live, um, which you could find on the YouTubes. I didn't mention yesterday that all this stuff is just gaslighting. 
She was shot in the foot with a gun. She was shot in the foot. It's a fact. Gaslighting is when you lie to somebody, they know the truth. So it's just like, wh why are you denying the truth? Now I'm confused. And it's, gaslighting is from the movie Gaslight. It's an old movie and I've never seen it. And nobody's ever seen it. <laughs> People have seen it. Um, it's from an old movie uh, where the husband um, would, they had little gas lights on the walls. Um, it was a fancy household where they had fancy gas lights. Now, I'm talking like old school lighting situation with sconces on the wall. Sconces are those little cute things on the wall. You mostly see them in hotels. Even sconces on the walls. And, um, and every day the husband would flicker the gas lights and the, the wife would be like, honey, there's something wrong with the gas lights. You know, there's something wrong. It keeps on flickering. Oh, no, honey, it's not flickering. What are you talking about? Are you sure you're okay? That's gaslighting. It's taking reality and invalidating it. Saying to Megan, you weren't shot in the foot. Saying to Megan, you're lying about what happened. She knows what happened. You can't invalidate the truth. That is gaslighting. And it's not just her truth because it's the truth. The truth is that this man shot her in the foot. And to invalidate that and say that somehow she was responsible for it is worse than gaslighting. So he might not get a full 24 years, which is actually not such a bad thing, but she won't get her justice, which was the name of my video yesterday. <laughs> she won't get justice. She might have to civilly sue this guy just to get some justice. Just, just so the world knows that this guy wanted to hurt her for reasons that we don't understand that are probably highly personal, that it's none of our business. But this guy shot her. So this article, Megan Thee Stallion, Me Too, and Hip Hop's Cycle of Misogyn Noir um, is from Vox.com and it's uh, dated today. <clears throat> Four in 10 black women have been stalked, beaten, or raped by an intimate partner. Black women are sig significantly more likely than white women to be killed by an acquaintance. Lane's protectors suggested he's a victim of a purported scheme to bring down black men to silence black women. Hmm the unique hatred that black women face has combined with the culture of violence in the rap music industry to create a both sides narrative around the harm Meg Megan had to navigate, how stereotypes about black women are being used. That's true. We also talked to how a rumor of an intimate relationship with Leans has been used to undermine her story. That's the thing. She didn't lie to Gail King. Gail King asked her two, three times, Did you, were you having sex with him? Were you having sex with him? Were you having sex? No. Uh, and what the role for is for in the criminal justice system of doling out justice between former friends. What is the role of doling out justice between former friends? Because, I mean, jealousy can make people do weird things. That's funny because Mr. Lane's uh, lyrics are all based on memes. It was just a friend of ours who shot her in the foot. Mm. Mm. But there was also a nonstop talk about what the police did to Breonna Taylor, which is interesting. Protect all black women. except if they're rich and they're better rappers than you. 
thank you for watching this video today. I really appreciate um, you taking the time out to listen to me talk about um, abuse, gaslighting, um, harassment, and, um, you know, protecting our women and protecting all people, all people. Anyone could be a victim of abuse, anyone, okay? Even that little midget. <laughs> <laughs> Tory Lanes, Mr. Peterson, whatever. Um, anybody. Um, I'm, I, and here's what this is. This is my final on Mr. Lanes. He seems to love to talk about God and how he's godly and how da 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 da. And perhaps you know he's just a mama's boy and that's his thing. But. I just find him to be a little bit disingenuous because he doesn't seem to know who God is. And, you know, granted, a lot of people don't know who God is, and maybe that's the subject for another video. But don't be yammering about God if you're not going to act in at least a manner that is consistent with the values that we hold dear, the secular human values of being kind, being nice, and not hurting your friends. So like and subscribe, and um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll get something together, who knows? Maybe I'll just put a little philosophy together, but I am enjoying this and I hope you guys support me and um, finally, I, I do slur my words. It's part of my disability. And I try very hard to be aware and, and uh, of my diction. Um, I, I perform a lot, um, but I practice. So the words come out, you know, intelligibly. So that, that word intelligibly is a difficult word to, to say and somebody with my issues with diction just in general um sometimes i'm just not aware of the fact that i'm slurring and people are like wah, 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 you know so um you know i'll take any kind of comment um or criticism um just, you know, try to be nice just because I feel that if if you're nice, people will be, be nice back to you. And, you know, it's sort of, it's not, I don't believe in innocent karma. That's kind of nonsense. But I believe that, you know, you 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 get back what you give in the world to, um, <laughs> to use a, a Facebook meme <laughs> after I just mocked my Tory Lanes for his Christian memes. Oh my lord. Oh. So, well, we shall see and um we shall see what happens and uh have a great day.